Welcome back to Daily Reddit Stories. Let's start with the story. AITA for taking my daughter to Disneyland while pregnant? I'm a 28F, and I recently went on vacation to Disneyland with my 5 year old daughter and my husband 29M. We wanted to have one last trip together before our family grows to four, as I'm seven months pregnant and our baby boy is due soon. We thought it would be nice to spend some quality time with our daughter before her little brother arrives. When I was 13 my mom, dad and little brother went on a Disneyland vacation. It was fun until my dad left his phone in the hotel, and they wouldn't return it to us. He had to get a new one, and my parents were so upset that we never went back. I thought this was irrational since it was my mom's favorite place. We went there at least once a year while growing up. After that whole ordeal, my mom hated it. So, when my husband and I wanted to have a vacation before the baby arrived, we decided to go to Disneyland for about three days. My daughter loves princesses and the idea of magic, so when we told her about it, she was overjoyed. While we were at lunch together I told my mom we were going on a trip, and when I mentioned it was Disneyland, she was enraged. I was baffled because I honestly thought she had forgotten about the whole incident. She called me a backstabber and used some really vulgar language. She stormed out of the restaurant, and I paid and left a few minutes later. A few hours later, my dad called me and screamed, This family doesn't go to Disney. If you weren't such a spoiled little B-word, you would understand that. I was shocked. It was my money I was spending, and I thought everyone was over. My mom texted me a long paragraph saying she would go no contact and wouldn't be my mother anymore if I still went. The trip was fully paid for, so I responded, Okay, I guess you only have a son now, and blocked her. I've gotten at least 60 calls from family and a few texts telling me I'm wrong. We still went and got back yesterday. We all had a blast and my daughter rode her first big girl coaster. She loved every minute of it, so in my opinion, it was all worth it. Relevant Comments NTA, you're well within your rights to take your daughter on a holiday to a location you choose with your money. I feel like something else happened at Disney that you're not aware of to make your parents hate it so much. It seems totally irrational for her to act the way she is. Comment from OOP, I agree. I never thought about something bigger going on. I've heard stories where people leave stuff and never get it back, like dropping things on rides. I will unblock my mom and try to talk it out and understand what really happened. Edits slash updates. Edit 1. While I posted this around two hours ago, and I've gotten a lot of comments. First off, thank you for all the NTAs. I was kinda scared that I was going to get attacked. I think I will unblock my mom once I get home and ask if we can meet up. We haven't spoken since all this happened. Hoping we can meet up for lunch and talk. Also I've been seeing a lot of comments where people think something way bigger happened. I can't remember anything else happening though, so I'm going to ask if and when we talk. I'll keep you all posted. By the way, I'm in Kali, and I don't get off work until 5 p.m. 5, 30-ish, so once I get off and get home, I will talk to my mom. I've seen a lot of people wanting an update, so I'll try to get one to you all soon. Edit 2, holy shit, lol, I truly didn't expect this to go viral. I'm getting ready for work, and just wow. So last night I unblocked my mom, messaged her, and basically said, I want to talk, I know that our last fight was really messy, but I want to meet up for lunch and talk. She responded. She said yes, and we're meeting up today. My dad is also coming because I want him to apologize for what he called me. I honestly can't even process the phone call that happened. I want to get answers as fast as possible because I've seen so many comments saying this wasn't over a phone. I have really bad memory, and this was 15 years ago, but I remember most of it because that whole situation was very messy. I will definitely be updating you guys after the lunch. I've also seen people saying my parents might not like Disney, because they are more liberal. I don't think that's the reason though. Fifteen years ago was very different as well. I'll ask that when we meet up, but I don't see it as a real reason. I've also seen people saying it's very unreasonable to go no contact slash very limited contact, because of this, which I agree with. I think she was just saying that to scare me, which is still very gross. But we still went, and she messaged me back, so I guess we will just see. My husband might also come with me because I don't know how my parents will react when I ask them my questions. They know we still went, so I'm not too scared, but I can't be sure. 
I'll update with how the lunch goes soon. Final update. Well, here it is, folks, your final update. Around 1 p.m. yesterday we went to lunch. My husband didn't come because he had an important meeting at work. I wasn't too scared anyway because we were going to a pretty popular restaurant, so it wasn't like I would be alone with them. We got there and sat down. I started talking to my mom and dad and asking my questions. It was mostly, why would you get so mad, and it's my money, and I wanted to make sure my daughter had a fun vacation with her parents before she has a brother. I was met with them gaslighting me and thinking that because they don't love Disney I can't go. I was on the verge of tears and leaving. So, I asked my final question that I really want an answer to. This can't be over F seeking phone, there has to be something going on to make you blow up like this. They then told me what really happened. So, my dad did leave his phone. When housekeeping went to clean the room for the next family to arrive, the cleaning woman took the phone and brought it to Lost and Found. She saw my mom's contact on my dad's little smartphone and called her, and we went to pick it back up. But the woman also saw another contact that said baby. My dad was cheating for a good year to a year and a half. She told my mom and my mom blamed that woman for ruining her marriage by telling her. That's why they hated Disney, it ruined their marriage. I walked out after that, I didn't pay either. I don't think I'm going to talk to them after this, only if my daughter and son want to. They betrayed my trust and never apologized either for what they called me a few days ago. I don't know why we never got the phone back, and I probably will never know. But here is the official ending of this crazy-ass story. Relevant Comments OP, honestly I didn't see this coming at all. I know there must be a better explanation, but I never expected it to be an affair. And the fact that they're blaming Disney for the dad's cheating is just wild. There are plenty of valid reasons to hate Disney, but cheating at one of their parks isn't one of them. One person commented. Yeah, I don't think Disney is responsible for the dad stepping out of his marriage. You can blame the mouse for a lot of things, but not that. I might be reading too much into this, but when I hear about the family suddenly hating Disney, I can't help but think something bad happened in their marriage during a vacation, and now Disney is just tied to those bad memories. Another person commented. And even then, why is the whole family on this revenge kick now? Did going to Disney suddenly make them all uncontrollably unfaithful? Did they each get assigned an affair partner at the gate when they received their wristbands? That aside, ah, your reveal really got me thinking about some crazy theories and I'm glad it was just this. I was picturing a phone being discovered, filled with stuff that would make you call the FBI. Thank you for listening to the whole story. Wishing you a wonderful day.